Hello and welcome back to another video today here again on the Crew Motor Fest to complete another playlist. This time, as you can see in the distance, it's the Donut Media one. So let's continue driving over to it in our Lamborghini Revuelto and get straight into this next playlist. I got a question for you guys and buckle up, Buttercup, because it's a doozy. It's a doozy? Frickin That's wedding, short for Duesenberg. It's very excitable, isn't Listen it? Up, you buff horses. I've got seven questions that you need to answer. What did you just call me? The wheel of some of the most <laughs> iconic cars the world has ever seen. Here we go. Boom. The car world is made up of rivalries and unanswered questions. You need to settle them once and for all. More power, baby. Will it be easy? Uh, I don't think so. That's why I love it. He gives the people what they need to hear. Lightning, 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 lightning. <laughs> and in the end, I need you to answer the biggest question of them all. Who rules the streets? That is the most badass thing I have ever heard of. More power, baby! I'm so confused. He's just shouting things. <laughs> Rivals since they were babies. It's true. But don't look it up. Before we set up camp downtown, well, it's not because Lamborghini was a baby long after Italian Ferrari, but anyway. Of your choice. Either the Ferrari F12 Marinetta or the Lamborghini Huracan. Which beast owns the mountain? Ooh. The Italian stallion. Okay, that's or the difficult. Bully bully. That's difficult because I would always go Lamborghini over Ferrari, but that is the most boring Lamborghini ever made. And that's got quite a nice V12. I'm sorry, Lamborghini, you put the wrong car in. The Ferrari, saddle up, you Italian cowboy. Why, did, why is it an Italian cowboy if I've chosen the car that is a horse? Oh no! I forgot I'd have to look at Sid the Sloth's face for the entire race. Also, anybody that hasn't noticed, I love that the Lamborghini, the other driver in the donut playlist is called Homer, because he likes donuts. Very random. Around the outside. I am literally Carlos Sainz. Oh, wow. He's, he's pushing me along. Oh no. Did you just pass a Lamborghini or am I seeing things? No, the Lamborghini just passed me because I crashed and died. Bull versus stallion. How are we feeling about our choice down there? Not having second thoughts, are we? Yes, because the back of this car is hideous. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ferrari tactics. Oh, I was wondering that because I've seen this and I saw that the player had the outside line. And I wondered if it was just always the case that they had the outside line. Homer is getting away. Drone could really stop talking. He's droning on a bit at this point. Oh, hey. I used to live in that building. Home stretch, dude. Hammer down. 370Zs for one lap each on the same track to find out... Why are they 370Zs? ...between cheap mods and expensive mods really is. Can you Why? It's supposed to be a 350. To high car? Show That's the whole that. point. Does more expensive mean more better? I mean, yeah. No, definitely. It doesn't. We did it in real life. So is this supposed to be high car or low car? It's just a 370. 
This was low car, right? There was this color. I only know from Horizon. I've never heard of it outside of that game. But I do know that they had the correct cars. So this is a much better story mode, but it has the wrong vehicles. Oh, wow. Okay, they are different other than just the colour. Isn't high car supposed to be black, not yellow? This is a lot faster, though. And listen to it. Whoa. On the boost. But I would always be on the Koenigsegg side of that debate anyway. So, yes. Choose between the Bugatti Centurionche Bugatti. and the Yesco and Honolulu. Which car will set the new downtown speed record? And who will split an order of shaved ice with me? Hey, can we get some shaved ice on set? Oh, yeah, good luck. This guy is so random. Right, let's do this. No choice, no competition. The Yesco is always better. To be fair, almost anything is always better than a Bugatti, but... I would have a Koenigsegg or a Pagani over a Bugatti. Or a McLaren P1. Oh yeah, that's what we decided, didn't we? It's not Yesco or Jesco. It is Tesco. Tesco versus Homer. Wait, what was it called? The Quickie Mart. <laughs> it's Tesco versus the Quickie Mart. Ah! Past we go! It's too fast, I can't drive it, I can't drive it, I can't drive it, that's horrendous. Thank you. Well, it handles better than that barge that's pushing me along. Nope. Oh, goodbye. You just smoked that Bugatti like some oh, God. Fine fist. And boost. Oh, no. Finish line is right there. Oh, that's baby. gone interestingly, but we take the win. Challenge against is yourself. Just like in life, can you get all steezy with your slide? And how long can you maintain your drift? I like the purple background. Oh, here we go. Here we go, new, slightly improved handling makes drifting so much easier. Let's do it in one combo. Never mind, I take that back. This place is amazing! It's like a playground for drifters! That's a wall. Wow. 113,000 points. Luckily all we had to do is complete it. Although I think that's a decent score anyway. You're a capable driver. What if you don't have any brakes? You'll be driving this Ford Raptor SVT and I say driving, but you're stuck in cruise control and you cannot use your Breaks. This oh. challenge looks really fun. And did I mention every lap you get faster? So how clean can you drive when slowing down isn't an option? <laughs> Is the cutest, buffest horse you've ever seen. You wouldn't run over a horse, would you? Nay, sir. Nay. Well, I guess that's one lap. Good job. Be smooth. No! Oh, 
Oh no, how am I going to do this if it speeds up every lap? This is going to be like impossible. No. How clean can you drive with no brakes? Well, I hate sorry, that corner so much. I'm going to have to go wide, I think. I can't do that. That was a cone. How do you do this corner? Oh, there we go. Do not hit the cones. <laughs> Achieved. Is that enough? Final face off two. Powerhouses battle it out in the streets of Honolulu. Audi R8 Spider head to head with BMW M4. Who could ask for anything more? Let's one's a supercar, and one's a coupe. The streets. I think there's only one option. I don't know what you guys think. It's the Huracan that we didn't use in the first event. I've driven that quite a lot as well, and I really want an R8 convertible in this game. So, something cool about it being a spider. Time to use that Huracan that we didn't use in the first event. Here we go. Tunnel! Come back here, Homer. Meet me. Time to go fast. You're driving to get us the final answer. There can only be one. Yeah, and it's not me. I've lost. It's not quite how I'd describe it. Anyway. We're in the lead. That's what's that's what it's about in this game. If you get to the front, you can then seem to hold them off. I take that back. That was horrendous. There was never going to be a gap there. The finish line is coming. The finish line is coming. Oh wow, that pulled off onto the grass. Easy. Right. Prize car. I think I know what it is. It's a courgette. A yellow and blue courgette. And there it is, doing a donut. Playlist cleared and, ready for takeoff, driver. and there we go, that is the donut media playlist complete and this horrendous looking version of the Chevrolet Corvette unlocked, which means that is going to be all for today's video. So thank you very much for watching and I will be back with the next one very soon. Mm -hmm.